What up, everybody? News Now, Ohio. Back at it again. On the way home from the checkpoint. Now we're going to record my stop. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. Oh, yeah. Let's see what they got going on. It might be over already. I don't know, they got, to, they got them pulled out of the car here, guys. It's a guy pulled over. It's a waiting on a tow truck car. I don't know. Number 479. And this is 496, it looks like. They had him out of the car and fucking, they had him out of his car and in the back of this cruiser. Huh. That's weird. <sighs> yep, that's weird. All right, guys. Let's see what they got going on. Yep, I'm out and about, motherfuckers. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of that. My wife should be pulling around to pick me up any minute now. So, I'll go home and eat some oyster stuffing, guys. Yeah, boy. Oyster stuffing. I don't know if you guys had that, but boy, it's a bomb, boy. Huh. We, we made it up at... uh at my sis my son my daughter-in-law's house we had just had we celebrated thanksgiving dinner there to, um tonight so we won't be celebrating thanksgiving tomorrow but we was all up the whole family was up there it was really great i really loved it yeah, i was there with all my, my kids and all my grandbabies it was awesome guys this is probably her nope it's not her i don't know where she went but uh, we thought she would have went around the block but who knows? <laughs> but yeah, so they're out and about, guys. It's the end of the year, and you know they like to pull people over now and generate that revenue. You know, for the for the not quota that they got. You know, they don't have a quota, but you know, yeah, they do. <laughs> My buddy, that's the deputy. He said they don't. That he asked the, uh, one of the police if they had a quota, and he, they said no. But, you know, they probably lied to him. He said the county sheriffs don't have a quota. And I, that I do believe because, I mean, they literally, guys, they hardly, they rarely pull anybody over the other county sheriffs. So, so yeah, it, you know, it's pretty rare that you see them pulling someone over. But, yeah, so, uh, I firmly believe the Hamilton police do have um 
one. So here's the news. Here's the news, guys. I talked to the. I finally got a hold of the health department after two weeks of trying, and the lady's trying to say that she never spoke with me, the K Ferrar or whatever her name is from the city health department. She's the director of the um, health department here in Hamilton. She's trying to say that oh when, when they when they took that that wood that she wasn't um, it wasn't through the city health department. It was through. It was through um, the. Uh, it was through, uh, uh, I don't know, something else, the EPA or some shit, and it wasn't. I spoke straight to her. I mean, a, a name like Kay Farrar, you ain't going to forget. You know what I mean? And I, I remember talking to her because she said, I'm the director of the health department, and we can come and um, lift the tarp up on, um, uh, if we feel like it. You know what I mean? I was like, well, no, you can't do that. That's a violation of my Fourth Amendment right. And if a police officer can't do it, you guys damn sure can't do it. And uh, she, she, you know, she still is under this firm belief that she can do whatever, that, that the health department can do whatever the hell they want, which is totally false and not true. But I don't know if this is the wife. But anyway, I don't know where the hell my wife went. I guess she left me, man. I mean, I don't even know. So anyway, yeah, so so now it's going to be a big issue where I guess they they are going to try to act like, oh, well, they don't know what, they're, what, what I'm talking about because they didn't have control over that at the time that the wood was taken. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the EPA did. I know better. I spoke right with her. She's the one that told me that if, that if I cover it, here she comes. Um, that if I cover it, uh, she'll uh, I, that I can keep it, and they they'll quit sending letters and people um, to fuck with me. So I know for a fact that she was the one. So I covered it. And come on, babe, come on. Hey. Pretty sure that's her. What? But anyway. So I know for a fact it was her. So what? I couldn't see you. Oh, because I was all in black. Ow! Here burning me, burning me here. Put it in my lap. It ain't that hair. Oh, damn. Oh shit, that was burning my goddamn finger. Crazy. So anyways, guys. Yeah. So yeah. So anyways, yeah. So that's what the health department's gonna try to pull on us. Because, I, like I said, I talked to the lady and she was like, oh, well, uh, they, they, it, that wasn't under our jurisdiction at that time. That was uh, the EPA. And I know I spoke to her. You know what I mean? I know for a fact I did. I mean, like I said, who's going to ever get a name like Kay Farrar? You know what I mean? Nobody. That's a name you'll never forget. So, uh, so I guess that's what the game they're going to try to play is I'm going to call the EPA, the people that's in charge of that, and they're going to say, oh, well, we weren't in charge of it, then the health department was. So we're just going to get that back and forth, run around game. Like I did over the lawyer when I right. tried to get my motion to discover him. Right. And found me guilty over the phone. Yeah. I still never got that shit. Of course not. But, because there probably was never a video retracted. Yeah, and they wouldn't give it to me. They kept right. bouncing me back and forth right. between my lawyer. My lawyer kept saying, no, he sent it over there. They kept saying, right. no, it, my lawyer had. Yeah, it was just all the fucking game. <laughs> right. That's all it is. Yeah. Right. But so, so yeah, so that's probably what's going to happen is they're just going to give us a fucking run around. It'll never get removed from our fucking um, property taxes and we'll just have to pay it because they're, they're, they're the city and they say so, you know what I mean? But, or we're going to lose our house. Right. Or we're going to have, well, I mean, yeah, or we'll lose our house if we don't pay it. I mean, it's just that simple. I don't know how long we have left, but it ain't probably long. <laughs> We've got a little money saved up, but it's hard to do that when she works. She only works three days a week, and I'm on disability. Most of my check goes for pay our bills. So, but you know, we're gonna do what we can do, and you know, we put a GoFundMe up that we've got ninety-five dollars. So, I mean, we appreciate that. I mean, hey, we appreciate it. You know, but I mean, the people that gave us that was friend, a friend, and some and family member, but. Awesome. You know, 
you know, that was great. But, you know, other than that, no, no help at all. So um, we're not going to be looking forward to we're not going to be looking towards that to bank us out. You know what I mean? So, but anyways, that was all. I mean, like yeah, I said, city, city, city. So, I don't know. They pulled over a black guy. They had him out of his car and in the cruiser. And then they let him out and let him leave. So, and he walked, walked away from him shaking his head. <laughs> so, I wanted to be, I wanted to get a hold. I wanted to talk to him, but he left before I could get up there. He pulled away. All right, guys, this is News Now How I'm Out.